I guess that helps. See, so I moved his arm out without really losing any weight. Doing anything here. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm here. Transition. <laughs> and now he's up tighter. And I said, little. Uh, that's what I meant when I said ways to get tight. Yeah. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's just like a wrestler. Yeah. 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 All right, everybody. Let's uh, do, do one more off of this. Well, we can do a couple off of it. But come on back around this side, guys. All right, one of the uh, things, a common problem that can happen. You know, I'm here and I went, you know, I'm going for the arm. I got a real strong guy here. Maybe I made an error and put the thumb over the top. And the reason I don't do the thumb over the top, we were just showing uh, Mr. Frederick, if I grab his wrist, all he really has to do is roll, roll the, wrist. the wrist and he's going to break my grip. But if I have this on top, there's no thumb to roll against, so you're not going to lose the grip. So that's why they do it this way versus this feels tighter. In some positions, it may be tighter. In this position, it's not. So if I make this error and the, and the guy starts to roll his wrist, what I want to do in order for him to escape He's going to roll and he's got to straighten his arm. All right? So if I'm working here and I made this mistake and this guy starts to roll, what I'm going to do, you know, knowing what, where I where the next part of this position goes, as he straightens his arm, I follow it. And once I follow it, I'm going to switch my hand position. I'm not going to fight him to try to keep it here, keep it here, because eventually I'll lose this. So when he goes to roll, I'm waiting, setting a trap at the end just to do a straight arm bar here, all right? So I'm here, I made this error. As Jamie straightens his arm, I just follow it. My hand slides from my wrist to my bicep. The reason I do this is I want to get a little space off the floor. And the reason I'm doing that is because to finish this, I'm hyperextending his arm. And his shoulder's off the mat too, right? Well, it's, yeah, it's close. I don't know, everybody doesn't have gorilla arms like me, so <laughs> may not be so high. You know, what happens too here is while I'm here, maybe if your arm's thinner and you're hitting the floor, while you push down, I take this one. And push up. And push up. Right. So it's basically just opposing, opposing we call opposing you know, forces, forces right? here. Yeah. All right. It's the same position. It's just like you were doing the same choke thing. On the fire. It's a yeah, close. It is. Yeah, Basically we're like the, the rear naked. Thing. Yep. Just doing his arm. So, uh, you know, I'm here again. You know, a lot of this is all leverage based, and a lot of catching anybody in a submission, it's just like a, a punch. You know, the hook or the uppercut is a good knockout punch because most people don't see them coming. And everybody sees the jab or the big right hand you're throwing, but if you throw that hook behind it. You know, a lot of times you see the guy get knocked out because he doesn't see that punch coming. You know, here, this is a common submission. So I'm here working, working. He sees this. He's defending this. But I know Ouch. where the next position is, you know. So, I'm, you know, they call these different things or setups. So while I'm here going for this, and I know how he has to defend. So if he starts to straighten the arm, bam, you know what I mean? I'm on top of it and get the tap here. Does so everybody see what's happening? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Want to try it? Absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, sir. let's do it. Chris? Oh, yeah. Chris? Chad, did you get to the last one? Yes, sir. I'll get out. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. We started with this. We're going to slide down off this because I need to be like behind his elbow. And as I, and I want to be right on top of it, so you're not even on it. This feels like this. So this thing's almost here. 
So as I push, it doesn't matter. I want to keep it thumbing. No, no, no. What are you doing? That's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Don't take it. No, it's really a pressure. Does it feel worse when the shoulder comes off the neck? That's my question. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're straight. Oh, you're straight. Is that the crazy story? No pressure at all. That was like, this is what's going on. You're fighting, you're fighting. So as you push this down, no pressure. Rear naked choke. It's all good. Rear naked choke. That's nice. It's beautiful. Rear naked choke. Um, that's it. No, but you the elbow. That's it. That's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to go into the view of the arm. Yeah, Try this side. We both definitely have our comfort side. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was good. Oh, I do. When you rolled your thing, I let it go out. I let it go up with this wrist. Roll right in. Roll right in. You're still not going to do it. That's a Matt Hughes. That's a Matt Hughes. You've got to go with it. That's a Matt Hughes. He was oh, trying to get hoist with it. That's what that's he had. What I mean, that's what I mean. Henzo taps, Marty oh, said. Oh, that's it right there. That's it. <laughs>